One day, I'll be filming videos from space for you. Or even better, you'll be living up there, watching our channel, or maybe we'll even meet among the stars. Sounds unbelievable, right? But today, the first steps toward that reality are happening. Soon, we'll have a true home in space, known as the Vast Space Station Haven 2. And here's the exciting part. This new home will be built and operated with the help of SpaceX's powerhouse rocket, Starship, which continues to reach incredible milestones. The plan is in motion, so let's dive into it on today's episode of Great SpaceX. We have just over a half a decade until the ISS retires, and NASA has selected several projects to replace this legendary station. Interestingly, however, the project making the most positive progress, the VAST space station, is not part of NASA's official program. Currently, VAST is set to launch the first module, Haven 1, next year, and its final design was recently announced. Just days after that reveal, at the International Astronautical Congress of 2024, VAST officially introduced the second module of the station, Haven 2, marking a powerful breakthrough. VAST summarized on X, VAST introduces Haven 2, our proposed successor to the International Space Station, at IAC 2024. When fully built, Haven 2 will surpass the ISS in capabilities and cost efficiency. Haven 2's first module will be operational in 2028, ensuring continued U.S. and international presence in LEO after the ISS's scheduled retirement in 2030. The tweet also included an update with more specifics. Vest stated, Future space station's advanced capabilities projected to surpass the ISS at an unprecedented low cost to government and commercial customers. To achieve this, Vest plans to introduce Haven 2 and launch Haven 1 next year, followed by entry into NASA's commercial LEO destination program in 2026. If successful, Vast would launch the first module of Haven 2 by 2028, ensuring readiness to replace the ISS should Russia withdraw early. In design, VAST emphasizes that Haven 2 is an evolved and NASA-certified version of Haven 1. Haven 2's first module, at approximately 15.1 meters, is set to introduce substantial upgrades over Haven 1's initial design. With nearly double the livable volume, it maintains the same trusted systems, but now includes docking ports at each end for greater mission versatility. According to VAST, the design will accommodate larger payloads and laboratory equipment, and increase operational flexibility, meeting NASA's basic laboratory capabilities for the CLD program and allowing more complex high-demand projects with ample power and thermal regulation. This expanded space not only enhances functionality, but likely brings a host of new features. As hinted in the Haven 1 introduction video, each module will include dedicated sections such as docking port, corridor, crew quarters, common area, domed window, laboratory, and a deployable table, built to support essential activities like eating, sleeping, exercising, communication, and healthcare. The station provides a comfortable, efficient workplace designed to meet all the basic needs for crew members in an environment optimized for productivity and well-being. Additionally, Haven 2 will operate with SpaceX's Starlink, a game-changer for continuous high-speed connectivity, transforming everyday life and research aboard the station. With Starlink, Haven 2 can offer seamless communication with Earth, enhancing real-time collaboration, remote monitoring, and streamlined data transfers, ultimately advancing the scope and impact of research in orbit. VAST's timeline for Haven 2 starts with the launch of its first module by 2028, signaling a transformative era in commercial space station construction. Over the following two years, three additional modules will be launched and connected to create a linear structure. Each module will feature a consistent design, ensuring cost efficiency, while enabling incremental improvements in life support systems, power distribution, and environmental controls. This phased deployment strategy aims to provide a reliable and adaptable environment for astronauts and research teams, continually enhancing the sophistication of the station. Between 2030 and 2032, VAST will expand its station with a 7-meter central core module launched via SpaceX's Starship, followed by four additional Haven 2 modules. This core module, essential to the station's structure, will feature advanced airlocks for extravehicular activities, or EVAs, supporting maintenance and scientific research outside the station. Its four side ports will connect previously launched modules, creating a robust cross-shaped structure that maximizes internal space. 
Two of these modules will have specialized features, one with a panoramic 3.8 meter dome window for stunning views, and the other, inspired by the ISS's Kibo module, will support scientific and industrial payloads with external racks and dedicated airlocks. Upon completion, VAST's Haven 2 station will cater to a wide range of international and commercial clients, including NASA, private astronauts, and global research organizations. Its advanced features, like a spacious 3.8 meter diameter cupola, external payload hosting capabilities, a robotic arm for maintenance, berthing ports for visiting spacecraft and airlocks for EVA activities will support diverse mission profiles. Additionally, the planned 16 windows, including dome windows inspired by Haven 1, will offer an exceptional sense of connection to space for crew members and visitors, creating a comfortable and visually stunning work environment. Haven 2's modular design not only provides operational flexibility, but also allows for ongoing upgrades, enabling VAST to adapt to emerging technologies and evolving customer needs. This construction aligns with VAST's goal of setting a benchmark for next-generation space stations. Emphasizing capacity and functionality, confident in its capabilities, VAST has stated, VAST's design is projected to surpass all other proposed on-orbit space stations in terms of volume, functionality, and operational efficiency. By 2032, Haven 2 is expected to be a cornerstone of the low Earth orbit economy, positioning the U.S. and its international partners as leaders in accessible, sustainable, and commercially viable space exploration. To realize this ambitious project, VAST will undoubtedly rely on the support of SpaceX. For launching the Haven 2 modules, the Falcon Heavy will be the vehicle of choice, as its larger capacity is necessary to accommodate the increased size of these modules compared to Haven 1. The core module, with its impressive 7 meter diameter, will be ideally suited for launch by Starship. By then, Starship is expected to be the industry leader, boasting remarkable achievements such as returning humans to the moon in September of 2026 and facilitating crewed missions to Mars. In addition to these launches, VAST will also require the assistance of the Falcon 9 to deploy Haven 1 next year. The Falcon 9 has established itself as the most reliable rocket available today, ensuring that Haven 1 can be launched safely and on schedule. While VAST has stated that it won't depend on any single vehicle for the station's maintenance and operation, it's clear that the Dragon spacecraft will play a pivotal role. Currently, Dragon is the primary vehicle for transporting crew and cargo to the ISS, boasting an impressive and dependable track record. It is likely to remain the best orbital payload carrier for years to come, so it would not be surprising if the vast space station relied on Dragon for its operations. With limited alternatives available, given that the Starliner program presents significant risks and Dream Chaser has yet to launch, Dragon stands out as the most feasible option. In addition to Dragon, Starship also holds significant potential for operating the station. With its vast payload capacity, it can efficiently support station operations, particularly as it expands to its full size. However, a challenge arises in that Starship's size may render it too large to dock directly with the station. Furthermore, the vast space station will integrate with SpaceX's Starlink system. This system has proven invaluable on Earth and has demonstrated its capabilities in space, particularly during the Polaris Dawn mission. With Starlink's support, communication and research operations aboard the station will become significantly more effective. This integration positions the VAST space station as a standout project, elevating it above other commercial stations that have not captured NASA's attention. With such a station, we can be confident that the U.S. will maintain its leading position in space despite challenges from other competitors. While it's hard to see a legendary space station like the ISS retire, it's undeniable that after many years of operation, it has become outdated, relying on cumbersome technology. Recent years have seen frequent leaks, particularly in the Russian segment, underscoring the need for an upgrade. In this context, the ISS faces fierce competition from the Chinese space station Tiangong. Although smaller, the Chinese station incorporates the latest technology and is still in the development phase, suggesting it will compete even more aggressively with the ISS in the coming years. Therefore, a new station featuring updated technology and long-term viability is essential. 
More than ever, the vast space station is poised to meet these requirements both in terms of timeline and technological advancement. This will be crucial for maintaining our country's presence in space. The first step toward this goal is the construction of Haven 1. As previously mentioned, this module has been released with its final design and is set to launch in the second half of next year which will bolster confidence in the industry as other stations struggle to make positive progress. Though Haven 1 may not be part of Vast's future large station module, it will serve as a demo station to showcase technology and accumulate experience for operating a larger station down the line. As I've noted, this station will also be instrumental for Vast as it vies for a position in NASA's commercial LEO destination program. Achieving this goal is vital for moving forward with plans for Haven 2. In other words, Haven 1 will lay the groundwork for the Haven 2 era. This is how our future space home will take shape. While the road ahead will undoubtedly be filled with challenges, I have faith in the plans that VAST has developed. With the support of SpaceX, its potential will only grow stronger. We are entering an era where space travel will no longer be exclusive. It'll be accessible to everyone, including you and me. Are you ready? In any case, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.